the new machine I wanted to introduce you to. Uh, it's a 2020 Sport Shift SSSE. Um, the SE comes with the bead locks, RC2 shocks, but these are the dual rates. So they have the crossover. So rides pretty good, rides a lot better than my 16, which is buried in here. So don't have a lot of plans for this one. It'll be close to stock. I might maybe at some day do a, uh, the GYT turbo kit, GYTR, but <clears throat> this one is definitely not one, not gonna be hopped up very crazy. I want it to be reliable. I don't wanna work on it. I wanna be able to get in and hit the key and go. So anything that takes away from that, probably not gonna do. So, pretty standard inside, no roof, no mirror. I gotta see about doing that if I'm gonna run the stock cage or go ahead and get an aftermarket cage. I almost had a white one bought, the limited with the X2 shocks, but once I saw this color, I just couldn't get over it. Just had to have this color. So, had to find a blue one. There weren't many in Colorado to be found. Coronavirus has supply chains kind of shaky right now. But we found one, we were able to make a deal. So, got about 30 miles on it. Just took it out and did a not nice and easy break in. But let it warmed up and got after it. Put a load on the engine. So, that's it. You'll be seeing more of this thing to come. This is going to be my Moab, sand dune, mountains, trail, snow, rocks, everything I can do with it. It's got the 29 inch eight ply old school big horns, as you can see there. So it's a pretty tough tire. Um, the gearing in 19 is good enough for me. It's not rock crawler gearing, if that's all you were gonna do. Probably still want lower, but people are doing some gnarly stuff with the 19, and it'll do what I want it to do, considering I did everything in Moab on my 16. This will be an upgrade. Uh, there's new MCU programming, I guess, as well with the 19 that is a lot more forgiving. I mean, getting this thing on the trailer is no problem. It'll slip and it'll just go. I mean, it doesn't slip, it doesn't rev up, it just goes, it doesn't die. The, I think the Yamaha's engineers really nailed the MCU programming. So, anyway, that's the machine, kind of a blank slate. We'll see where we end up with this one. If we do any kind of boost or probably get a cage or reinforce this one, get turn signal chase bar on the back and turn signals on the front so I can drive it around. We can put a plate on them here. So I'm gonna do that and uh, try to take care of it, put good oil in it and put a lot of miles on it. All right, see you guys next time.